So it looks like the first project I'm going to be doing on the Bronco to make it a little bit smarter is making that coolant temperature uh, actually read out something useful. So it was broken in the main console and then I added that uh, really cheap like auto parts store coolant temperature sensor. I, I can't rely on it. I don't know if it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So what I want to do is have a sensor uh, in the engine block right where the sensor is now. But instead of going to that gauge, I want it to be going to some sort of device, which will send that data up to the cloud. And then I want to be able to visualize that somehow. And the key piece of making all of that work is the hardware. It's going to be that little computer that's going to take that uh, data and then send it up to the cloud. So how am I going to choose the hardware that I'm going to use for this project? There's so many choices for IoT devices out there. So one of the first things that you want to do is think about the constraints of your project. Where is it going to be? Are you going to have power nearby? Are you going to have good connectivity through Wi-Fi? Or do you need to connect to something like the cell service? Or are you nowhere near a cell tower? Those types of things are going to affect how you choose the hardware you choose. But as a word of warning, don't focus on all the constraints because what you want to do first of all, what I'm going to do first of all, is prove the idea. Is this going to work? And then once I get it to work, it makes it much easier to start worrying about the constraints. One of the things I think about when I'm going to be prototyping an IoT device is how can I just get started quickly? And for me, that's using technology that's familiar to me. So for me, the Raspberry Pi is very familiar. I can get a Windows 10 IoT core operating system running on this and run a .NET app. And within you know, a small amount of time, I know that I can have some code running on here and reading some data and sending it to the cloud. How can I reduce some of the unknowns and just focus on proving out the concept that I want to prove. And once I have those unknowns figured out, then I can bite off the next chunk. Then I can figure out, okay, what don't I like about this piece of hardware and what kind of hardware can I get that'll solve that issue? I find that when I try to solve a bunch of problems up front, I can get lost in analysis paralysis. And I don't know what to choose, so I don't choose anything. So it's more important to get started than to pick the perfect piece of hardware.